Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome for the first time if you are new. We are back on the channel today to potentially start a new show. Uh, we're at least going to check out episode one and then depending on uh, how you guys feel, if you're interested or not, we'll continue the rest of the series. Otherwise, I'll probably watch it in my own time. But if you are interested in seeing more, I will definitely continue to make videos for it. Uh, this show came out I think a, a week or two ago uh, on Amazon Prime and I've been hearing pretty solid things about it um, and that is called My Lady Jane. I literally know nothing about this show. I, I The log line of the, of the show um, says, are you ready for an epic tale of true love, high adventure, regicidal maniacs, deadpan heroism, devious intrigue, swashbuckling sword fights, and a sousson of magical realism, and oodles of yearning banter and undeni undeniable chemistry. Of course you are. Welcome to My Lady Jane. Um, it's The genre says fantasy, so that's fun. We love a good fantasy show here on the channel. Uh, obviously, <laughs> we've watched through multiple of them. Uh, House of the Dragon, Rings of Power, uh, other ones. But we also love like a good romance show. Uh, case in point, like Bridgerton, we just finished watching on the channel. Uh, and so now this could potentially uh, slot into both of those dynamics depending uh, on if we continue it. And if you guys, again, if you guys want me to continue it, definitely uh, show up. So yeah, if you want me to, to continue beyond episode one, uh, definitely let me know in the comments and in, in all the other metrics that help the algorithm. You know, you know how it goes. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, other than, other than the general uh, genre. I don't know anything else about the show, uh, and I'm excited about that. I like not really knowing much. So, uh, we are gonna jump in episode one. Before we do that, a little house cleaning. If you enjoy my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It helps, uh, my videos get seen more in the algorithm, and then it just obviously means a lot to me. It's very nice. I like seeing that little number go up. <laughs> And then if you're new to the channel or you find yourself coming back often, uh, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload, especially if you want to see more reactions to this show. And then uh, if you are interested in seeing the full uncut version of this reaction, consider checking out my Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. Since this is the very first episode of a new show or a new season, that uncut is going to be completely free and public for you guys to check out. And if you find that that type of content is something you're interested in moving forward, then your support would mean the world. You just sync up your own copy of the episode and you can watch along with me. But other than that, I think that's all I have to say. So without further ado, let's jump into episode one of My Lady Jane. Long, long ago, in a land not that far away, a succession of kings believed God granted them the right to rule England however they chose. You know Obviously Henry they were correct. <laughs> treated his wives like Kleenex, one blow and you're out. Damn, divorced, okay. beheaded, died, <laughs> divorced, beheaded, survived. Next on the throne was his son, Edward. Oh dear. Oh, fat rip to Eddie. Lady Jane Grey. Okay. Jane was married without her consent and crowned queen against her will. Then, Damn. just nine days later, she was branded a traitor. Oh, snap. Wham. Off with her head. Fuck that. Oh, alternate what history. history. Let's go. Well, different. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, then my advice is if his member looks pustular, don't shag him. Wise words, Susanna. Yes, Susanna, wise words. So, when's my cunny set for shagging? A few weeks. A few weeks? I may never marry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mock the person who's curing your vagina. Yeah. <laughs> she could put God knows what in there. I'm writing the world's first complete compendium of England's medicinal herbs and their uses. Herbs. 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 And spices. Such an interesting start. Damn, that got ripped. Can you save a boy? Lush. Teach me how to ride. I bet he is. <laughs> How'd you chew them? Shut up, Margaret. Oh, lovely. 
Shut up, Catherine. Shut up, all of you. Yeah, shut up, Catherine. When Jane's father died with no male heir, his great uncle once removed I hope the that Duke guy drops Lester dead immediately. Inherited everything. Ah. That guy is decrepit. You are in Harry Potter. You're Professor Slughorn. You've grown up, haven't you? Gross. Gross. You'll be prettier if you smile. Uh, I Would I? Bet yeah. Now, do you have the Sick of what are you doing, brother? Elevation eases my gout. At, at the dinner table. You know, I read. You time. read? In a book? Yes. I never permitted my wives, all dead in childbirth. The fruits of my loins are very large. <laughs> I never permitted any of them to read or even own any books at all. Okay, so we're gonna kill you at the nearest convenience. Jane! Sweet child, we have secured for you the most thrilling honor one can bestow upon a young noblewoman. Marriage. You're married. Oh, shit. My marriage. Yeah. Aren't you excited? It's to an old, wrinkly man. Lord Guilford Dudley will be your husband. Guilford Dudley? Guilford Dudley. Guilford Dudley! How dare you! heard of him. The girls at court say he's vile. He, he drinks, fights, gambles. He cavorts with women of ill repute. Purveyors of the night. Street corner swindlers. Your father left us nothing. Our only wealth is blood, and you are pure Veritian cousin to the king. Cousin to the king? Damn. I will do everything in my power to get out of this marriage. <laughs> kill Dudley. Jane. Let's just kill everybody. You have no power. Can ye wield a knife? My book. Where is my book? I threw that wretched thing on the fire. You Ugh. That was years of work. You shouldn't have to re-remember all that. Bye, Jane. Fat rip in the chat to Jane's dreams. Tell me what pleases you. Anything you do will please her, sir. Get to work, brother. <laughs> She's like, seriously? Gene, they're in cahoots right now. Sister, we don't have time. I was rather enjoying that. Wait, what did you say? We're leaving now, right now. We'll go north, find a village where nobody knows us. Uh, she is in a situation where she's getting pleasured whenever she wants. I don't think she's going anywhere. I want my life to be mine. Forever. <sighs> well, uh, yeah, in real history you died, so... You'd be dead in a week. <laughs> in real history she was dead in a week. Before the old path Damn, tomorrow, she's just giving up the, oh, the sweet stable life. boy so quickly. They're gonna get caught, right? I mean, how how far can they truly get? What's that sound? <laughs> That's horns coming to get you. Run! Them dogs are chasing you. <laughs> Look at how quick they are. Good luck. You're not getting anywhere. That's the thief that stole my ring what? and kidnapped my daughter. She did it. Let go of her. It was me. It was me. You own me, you langer. It was not you. Understand? I forced it to come. That girl's gonna die. Damn. You. Jane, forgive me. Forgive you? Are you dipping? Hell yeah. Excuse? What the? She turned into a bird. Oh, I had no idea. Then you're a fool. Go home. She, she's amazed. She's like, oh my god. Okay, that. 
that brings in the fantasy element. Ethians can turn into birds. Susanna is a pork. Did I mention that in this world, some people can transform themselves into an animal? That's bitchin'. Where is she going? To London to see Lord Dudley. I'm in your wedding. Ah, uh, yeah, you're getting married. You forgot about that, didn't you? Lady Francis. Lord Dudley. And Lady Jane? It's cracking, brother. As you can see, we're installing new tapestries for the nuptials straight from Ferenczi. That's where Ezio's from. Ezio Auditore da Ferenczi. My cousin, King Edward, and I shared tutors as children. He's my oldest friend. Oh, kings don't have friends. Eh, uh, well, she's besties with him. I'm here to meet your son. I'm afraid Guilford isn't here. He's out. He's busy doing things. <laughs> things. Women. Indisposed with a woman of fiscal virtue. Oh, yes, I know all about those nerves. <laughs> I quite understand. It's a big day. It's a, it's, a, it's a big day. I don't want to marry your son. Well, you don't really have a choice. Nobody cares what you want. Now, <laughs> when you buy a tap. Bad, but it's so funny. <laughs> just the, just immediate. Nobody cares. Hello. Are you Stan? Yeah. Nice kid. Stop that! Stop! Kill that child. How dare you hurt that child? It accosted me. It. Give him those coins. No. Do it. Certainly, my lady. The whole bag. Teach him a lesson about the evils of begging. Pox on you, fuckface. Hell yeah, kid. Kill him. <laughs> they have fleas. I hope that kid shanks him in his sleep. My cousin, Lady Jane Grey, is here. Dismiss all of you. Out. Besties. Your Majesty. Oh, stop it. <laughs> How are you feeling? How's the cold? It's fine. Ghastly. It's fine. You know. Say hello to my new doggy, Petunia. Hello, Petunia. Hello, Petunia. You cute little doggy. How are your sisters? Is Margaret still pulling wings of butterflies? Oh, Margaret's gonna be a serial killer. Okay. Terrible news. My mother's forcing me to marry. Will you intervene? Jane, I've already approved it. We're all born to certain roles. Our destiny is set. Anyway, what else would you possibly do? I do not want to be a wife. <laughs> she wants to be an author. Well, I do not want to be a dying king, but here we are. You're not dying. <coughs> are you? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. I always thought I'd only marry if I could choose the man myself. Janie, that's just silly. Yeah, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Sisters! Your Majesty! Oh, he can walk Sing just fine, it. apparently. Eddiekins! Sweet bess. Jane and I, we were having some- Blackberry pie. Your favorite. Oh, they're competing for uh, who he names as the next in line. Cough and cough until you cough your lungs. <coughs> Edward? <coughs> Brother? You might see him die right now. Oh, he can't breathe. It's the affliction. Gods, fetch Dr. Butts! Dr. Butts? Spit in his mouth. Jane saved the king's life. Jane saved the king's life. I am here. Ah, oh, Doctor Butts. I am here. <laughs> Doctor Butts saved the king's life. 
is the new story. Oh, Jimmy, I forgot my forceps. You're a very incompetent doctor. You may wish to avert your eyes. What are you good? What are you about to do? Brother, you're bad at your job. I think they want him to die. Leeches, finest medical care. Suggestion, your highness. Boiled kitten tea with urine. Uh, an old man's urine, ideally. Yeah, yeah. Cle clearly that's the best medicine we can get. Boil a cat and then piss on it. And then drink that. <laughs> I think the time has come to appoint your successor. I know. I'm not afraid of death. I am. I have the strength of a thousand lions. Your magic <laughs> a thousand lions. Now, what if there was somebody else? Lady Jane. Someone with direct royal lineage, perhaps engaged to a high-born verity. Wear the crown until such time as they could produce a son. Lady, Lady Jane. Jane. Hell yeah. Your cousin. Oh, the marvelous. Idea. I never thought of such a thing. <laughs> What a happy coincidence. Jane's <laughs> yeah, husband to be that... is your son. Whew, yeah, what a coincidence. Princess Mary's Blackberry Pie, she's mm -hmm. dirt, isn't she? Always looking up your hell. Petunia! Africa! God! Take this muck to the kennel and kill it! No! No! This thing needs to be destroyed and I should take great pleasure in doing myself. Do not touch my dog. Dismissed. Yo, let's kill this guy too. There's so many people in this show I already want to kill. <laughs> Guards, a search party clearly sent by King Edward Anne slash or her dratted mother to find her. But as they say in the classics, not today, Satan. <laughs> not today, Satan. A bar, hell yeah. And now we're gonna gut you. Gut me with what? He's a swashbuckler. Wow, he is very impressive indeed. Shall I torture you with a poem? Yes! No. <laughs> They're like, no, hey, I don't want to hear a poem. Hubivina Proxima Morientis. He seems the life of the party. He's probably the one she's supposed to marry. So do you come here often? Jane is the first yes. person in history to ever use that line. Really? The first ever. Wow. Oops. How's your response? So you could recite the arc poet standing on a table in a dirt floor tavern, but you can't muster a simple apology. I said oops. That's, yeah. Vina, where'd you learn your Latin? In a ditch. Who would teach Latin in a ditch? Oh, you're missing the point. The point. <laughs> Who would teach Latin in a ditch? You were the rudest man I have ever met. Well, you guys should kiss. Mingle. Oh, I intend to. Who are you? Who are you? Excuse me. No. You are your future spouses. Good evening! That's it. What? We have it on excellent authority that a certain beast might be in here. It goes by the name of Archer. Is it one of those two? Oh, it's him. <laughs> Why? Eating scum makes me ever so thirsty. Brother! Hand him over, or we dunk every last one of you. Yeah, fuck it. Why don't you leave him alone, you bunch of thugs? I'm Let's off. start a fight. Do you turn into a bear? Oh my god. Oh my god, I was joking. Let's go. Hell yeah. And he 
turns into a dog. This is madness. I never knew things were like this. You've never seen a bear in a bar before? <laughs> He's like, come on, this happens all the time. Hey, it's your friend. Hey! Hey! More guards are coming! Let's get out of here now! Susanna! Hey, Susie Poo! No. Hell yeah. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Poison. Majesty. Calm down and listen to me. And you're naked. You are being poisoned. I can smell it in your food. I know. It's a lot to process. No, no, that actually explains a lot. We must go to her. Okay. Now. Who is poisoning me? Who do you think? All of your people? At this moment, Edward has two major revelations. He's gonna fuck his One, dog. <laughs> the dog girl is telling the truth. And two, he is not interested oh, in women romantically. Interesting. I wonder who's trying to poison him. The easy answer is the bearded man, the angry bearded man. But I don't think it's him. Oh, okay. No wonder he wants her to win. How's my baby brother? Weaker than a Sicilian's virtue. Maybe it is him. <laughs> However, it is. However. You people are freaky. <laughs> I will be queen. And I will cleanse mm. England of Satan's beasts. Mm. And I will not have. Any nasty surprises? You guys are about to get nasty. Ah yes, a dunking. Torture to force a suspected Ethian to change. If they don't change, do they just die? Yeah. It's like being a witch. No! 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 Please, please, I won't change your drown! Why don't you tell them your name? That is Lady Jane Grey, cousin to his majesty King Edward, and I am ordering you to cease drowning her immediately. They haven't even started drowning her. <laughs> Technically. I shall have those men flogged to death. Hell yeah. If only Jane could think of another way out of her unwanted wedding, but her thoughts keep drifting back to the tavern and that mysterious man marriage motherhood death in quick succession if statistics are anything to go by that rip in the chat margaret get out damn margaret you're a psychopath margaret's crazy fake your own death margaret come back Fake your own death. Let's go. Wow, what a dress, though. Looking good. What? Well, you'll do, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. She's a smoke show. She's just angrily throwing the flowers down. <laughs> He's not the one. Uh, Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Son of Lord Dudley and lust object of one Lady Jane Grey. She wants May I to present Jane's husband to be Lord Guilford Dudley. Dearly beloved. Is that not him doing the voiceover? <laughs> I, Guilford, take thee, Jane. Jane Grey. To be my wife. Mouthing, mouthing the My line. My wedded wife. You got it. 
I... Jane. Blood. The <laughs> fake blood. Yeah. Jane. It's the affliction! No! The affliction! <laughs> he knows. <laughs> oh, episode one in the books. That was fun. Okay. <laughs> that was actually really fun. <laughs> I, I like legitimately had a great time watching that episode. Uh, so if the rest of the season is on par with this first episode, I'm going to be very, very pleased. Um, I'm definitely going to be watching the rest of the show, whether it be in my own time or for the channel. So hopefully you guys, you know, show a lot of love on this video and then I'll watch it on the channel. But I'm definitely going to be watching the rest of it in my own time because... This was really good. <laughs> I like how immediately, like immediately, th there's no question to whether or not any of this really happened. <laughs> because, I mean, it's a fantasy show, right? So like, obviously the fantasy elements did not happen. But I like that they started us off with like, hey, this is what happened in history, but also screw that, here's what could have happened differently. And so right off the bat, we know it doesn't matter, <laughs> you know, if anything is historically accurate, because it's a fictional story. Um, like, they just, right off the bat, circumvent any issues <laughs> that some people might have with certain characters' skin color, for instance, with the king, or, you know, anything like that. And, I mean, people turn into animals in this, you know, show. So it's not like anything is remotely accurate historically. <laughs> so it's fine. And then the narration throughout the episode, I, I don't know if the guy who's doing the narrating is the guy that's playing Guilford. Uh, I, th they, I thought it was, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, the narration is fun because it's just like, it's calling out the absurdities of the situation in real time with a a, a voice that is like semi omniscient and out of time like it's aware of of like modern things kind of but like also is placed within the time period if that makes sense and it's just like funny and ironic and it's a grand old time i like the characters like, Jane is fun, Guilford's fun, the king, hopefully he doesn't die. Um, and then there's just, like, a, there's, a, there's a level of absurdity <laughs> to the situation that they're leaning into a little bit. Like, it, it feels, uh, this is going to be a weird comparison, but it kind of feels like a little bit of similar to, like, the boys, if that makes sense. And it probably doesn't, but... Where the boys is like kind of a pseudo parody uh, slash also faithfully in line with um, you know superheroes in the in the the role that those stories play. This feels like the same type of thing, but for the like you know period piece romance period piece fantasy show, if that makes sense. So what the boys is to superheroes, this is to period piece stuff, but without all the murder <laughs> and, and without all the viscera and gore, you know? Uh, and I'm having a grand old time. It's a lot of fun so far. And I'm very curious, you know, what storylines are going to happen. We have, I mean, we have the king who is sick and being poisoned. We have, and, and, and potentially is going to name Lady Jane as the next queen if he dies. That would be quite a twist, because um, in real life she gets killed. In this, she's going to become queen and potentially aid in a revolution of beast people? 
<laughs> like animal people. Uh, and that's very interesting. I, I think that whole element of the show is just a shocking twist, and I'm excited to see how it develops. But obviously the main element and main draw to the show is going to be the enemies to lovers romance between Lady Jane and Guilford. Uh, and I'm very, very excited to see how that comes about, because that's always so much fun. Enemies to Lovers is fantastic. I think I always generally enjoy Enemies to Lovers more than Friends to Lovers. I think the only time I've really, really enjoyed Friends to Lovers was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with uh, Fitz and Simmons, and like the way that wove together so perfectly was incredible. Generally though, I, I, I enjoy the heat and the passion that comes with enemies to lovers. And I'm, I'm very, very intrigued uh, to see where this goes. So I think it's all I have to say. Definitely let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. I'm very curious to see uh, and hear all of your opinions. Otherwise, if you enjoyed my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider checking out my Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the episode and you can watch along with me. Again, since this is the first episode of a new show or a new season, that uncut is going to be completely free and public for anyone to check out. And if you find that that's something you're interested in going forward, then your support would mean the world. But other than that, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys next time.